hey, hey, it's another Sunday evening. Come on in. Time to focus our energy for the week. Welcome, welcome. I am Terri Ann Hyman with Natural Forces Studio in the Empowered Spirit Circle here on Facebook. So come on in, take a few moments, and let's focus our energy for the week. Yes, we've had lots of energy going on, lots of people feeling a little bit out of sorts. So let's talk about it, and let's focus our energy as we prepare for the week ahead. Come on in. Let me know how this is for you. Is it hard for you to focus on a Sunday evening? Would you rather just be out there still having fun? Yeah, I know a lot of us would, and sometimes I would too, but I have found that this ritual on Sunday evening has been very helpful for me, very helpful for me to pull my energy in, wind down, and get ready to be really empowered for the week ahead. So let me know how you feel. Is this work for you, coming in and focusing? Give me a hashtag focus, hashtag energy. Or if it's really hard and you'd rather not do it, give me a hashtag hard. And maybe you're watching this later because you just don't want to close it down for Sunday. Let me know that too. And if you would share, share this with somebody else that you know that needs a little focus for their work week. And I'm going to share it now to my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. And I'd love for you guys to join me. I'm going to post the link. Click on the link and come on over and join the group, the Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. We have lots of fun, so much going on. And in this week, it's my birthday. So I'm going to have some bonuses coming up readings, my book. It's also my book's birthday. And I'll be offering those only in my private group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. So I'm going to come over here and share it. And if you would do the same, share this, give me some love, give me some thumbs up and share this with somebody else that you know that may be needing some work as well. All right, here we go. I have found it. I'm going to share it. And as I do, it would be really great if you would share it as well. You definitely know somebody I know that needs this kind of work, that needs energetically to focus their work week. And this is what we're going to do tonight. We're going to focus. I'm going to continue sharing this. Here we go into my group, the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm going to share it. And if you will do the same, that would be great. Here we go. All right. Focus. Share. How's it going for you? How have things been this past week? I know so many people have been posting about feeling a little bit depressed or out of sorts, like they can't even get ahead. What about you? How's your energy been? Give me a hashtag focus. Give me a hashtag hard if this has been hard for you. And I'm going to share one more. I'm going to share this. Whoops, there we go. I hear myself saying it. Yep, I'm going to share one more with my video group, my Big Reach video group with Brad Powell. He's been great helping us all to learn about Facebook because, yes, there's always something to learn, right? Yep. There is. Okay, here we go. We're just at 7 o'clock. I think I've got it all shared everywhere. All right. So how is everybody tonight? Come on in. Let's spend a few minutes. We're going to talk about the cosmos. We're going to talk about how we're heading into the work week. We have a new moon at the end of the week. We'll talk about that. We're going to do a card reading. I've chosen um, the Good Tarot again to read this week. We did last time too. I'm loving these cards. Very positive. It's my birthday week, so I want to share that with you guys. And come on and join in the Empowered Spirit Circle. I have some bonuses coming up for my birthday this week as well. All right, give me a hashtag, give me a thumbs up. Even if you're watching this later, it's always good to see the comments coming in. So the question I pose for you right now is how has your week been? What have you noticed? Have you taken time to get outside? That is really important in the summer. That is really important what's going on right now. The energy of summer is really about having fun. It's about doing things that are different. It's about getting out there and really being with the elements. I know last week a lot of people commented they weren't feeling great. They weren't up to their par. A lot of solar flares going on. We're really, we're getting prepared for next month's big solar eclipse. So a lot of that cosmic activity is underneath the surface. So you may wonder, why am I out of sorts? Why are things not working for me? And really, we just have to move through that energy. We just have to let it go, and we have to understand where we are. So getting outside in the summer, 
with the elements, the fire, the air, the earth, the water. It's like feel the sun on you. Feel yourself sweat. Feel the rain. A lot of rain down here. Feel the wind moving through. Feel yourself connected with the earth of the energy of the earth. And that's going to help you to release what isn't serving you. And I know that's a lot of what's been going on this past week. All that energy that's not really serving has been rising up, coming to the surface. And so many are feeling out of sorts. Have you? Let me know below if you've been feeling a little bit out of sorts. Give me a hashtag yes if that's been for you. If you haven't even noticed, let me know that too. I'm always interested to see who can tell what's going on cosmically. Who feels that alignment with the energy they have? So as we move through this week, we're going to start out with lots of activity going on. It's kind of a fun week to move into. Lots of fun, lots of summer energy going ahead. And then we're going to kind of come into a little bit of a shift of energy. Some tensions are going to be moving forward. We're going to feel that underlying energy move up. And then as we move to the end of the week, we're going to come into those dark days of the moon. All right, so we may feel that darkness coming back forward. And then we have a new moon on Sunday. So we're in that last cycle, that last quarter of the moon. So yes, many times we can tell how that energy feels, how it's doing for you, and what it means. So the things that we have to remember this week, the important thing to remember, what our focus is for this week, is to finish something, all right? Something needs to be finished so that you can come into that new moon energy feeling accomplished, and that's going to help you stay a little bit more positive in your energy. So you really want to be able to feel Something has been done, accomplished, completed. All right, so what are you working on? What did you start out last year, last month, I mean? What did you start out and put out there to work on? That's what we want to find some completion with. Maybe it's finish an email. Maybe it's finish a project. Maybe it's just finish planting, finish harvesting, something like that. Whatever it is for you, you want to feel that completion as we move towards the end of the week. All right, and that's what our energy focus, that's what our energy work is going to be at the end. We're going to focus on visualizing you, you visualizing seeing that project completed, all right? That's what we really want to have done. It doesn't have to be a major completion. It doesn't have to be a major product project. We just want to feel a completion. As we move through that cycle of the moon, right? New moon, we manifest, we put new intentions, and we come up to the full moon, we get really full, which we had last week. And then as we start to wane, we start to release out. So that's where we want to either release out or finish. It's your choice, really, but do one or the other. Otherwise, when we come into that dark of the moon, then we feel, oh, we feel a little bit like, gosh, I didn't get anything done. It's the same stuff. And that's what we want to try to avoid in our energy, really. We really want to try to avoid that. So what can you finish this week? What can you have that sense of accomplishment with as we move forward into the work week all right really important that you do and as you feel those tensions building the other really important thing is to get outside take a walk feel the earth feel the sun something try and do it each and every day that would be super good if you could do that it's summer remember we have a break we take time we get out there we enjoy our life a little more so than during all that busy time of the year that's what i love about the summer so much all right, so come on in. Give me a hashtag summer. I love the summer. Summer's my birthday. It is actually my birthday week. So come on in the Empowered Spirit Circle. I'm going to be offering some readings, some sessions. My book is going to be on sale on Amazon. You can be able to get it for 99 cents. Yes, I'll be posting about that in the Empowered Spirit Circle. So be sure to join it. All right. All right. So let's just take a nice deep inhale before we move into the cards. And begin to exhale out. Just feel yourself grounding. Feel your feet flat on the floor. Take a moment. And let's pull all of our energy together. Just imagine that crystal ball above your head. And imagine you calling back all your energy from the week, from the weekend. Call it back. Feel the feet grounding. Feel yourself opening up to the messages that Spirit has for us right now. Drawing from the good tarot. Beautiful messages to come forward. Inhaling and exhaling. All right. So I'm drawing a four-card reading. The first card is our anchor card for the week. It's an interesting card. It's a three of air. All right. So the three of air shows a woman. She's a little bit feeling isolated, feeling separated, feeling a little bit of rejection, perhaps. And in this particular card of Colette Baron reads cards, she talks about rejection being spirit's protection. 
So maybe you felt this a little bit as we come into this week. Maybe you felt this last week. I know a lot of people are talking about this exact thing, feeling a little separated, feeling like they're not fitting in, feeling like they're being rejected, perhaps even from their own work. Is this something you have noticed? All right, this is our anchor card, and this is the card and the energy that we're going to want to move through this week as we focus in and let go. All right, you see the birds are over there. She's got a couple of birds. All right, and then she has one on her shoulder, and she's kind of looking away. All right, so maybe you feel this too. Maybe you feel a little isolation in your life. Maybe you're feeling a little rejected from your group, but know some of this is a little bit of the mindset. Remember, this is of the air. So air is of the mental. So where can you let that go and, and, and let go of that separation and feel connected? That's the anchor card we're gonna talk about. So the next card that comes up is a beautiful card to follow, and this is the Empress. All right, this is the card that reminds us of the fertility of life, of the abundance that is all around us. So if you're feeling a little bit of that not fitting in, this is the card to look to to help empower your spirit, to help bring that forward, to know there's infinite supply. We just have to come within and connect to all of those around us as well. Very important as we move through this, because this is gonna give you that hope, this is gonna give you that inspiration to know there's a part inside of you that can bring forward those feelings. And I love this next card, the seven of fire. This is great. This is a perfect card to remind us, all right? All of those magical moments can come forward. Look at the fireflies, look at the unicorn. Where is the magic in your life? It's summer, remember it's summer. This is when we get outside, this is when the days are long, this is when we open up to the magical moments. So Spirit's reminding us right now to get out of feeling so isolated and rejected, to open up to all those many possibilities through the magical parts of your life. This is fire energy, so this can quickly change for us as we move through this week, and it will shift. You'll see the energy is definitely gonna shift. And the thing that anchors us in here with that is patience. And this is a really important card. This is in perfect alignment for the summer. Summer is all about patience. Having the patience to sit back, to relax, to let the energy grow for you. That's exactly what summer is all about. Sit in the hammock, lie on that raft, float down the river, get in a canoe, do things that can really make you stop and appreciate the elements of summer. Very important. So it's a really great reminder for us as we start out the week, we're going to feel some of those tensions. We've got a lot of planets going on out there, kind of fighting with each other. So the first card that comes up, and maybe even carrying over from last week, is feeling a little bit of that three of air, feeling a little bit of isolation or rejection from your own path, right? What does that remind us to do? To connect spiritually, to find that empowered part within us, that infinite potential is around. All right, so many of us say we have a spiritual path. Are you practicing your spiritual path, right? That's the key right there. Are you practicing it? And the Empress will remind us that fertility, that infinite potential is around us. We just have to dig in and go deeper because this is what's coming out when you do that fire energy, those magical moments for you to manifest and bring forward all that you want this summer by having the patience. Very important, all right? I know for me, I'm a fast mover. Sometimes I forget this for myself, but patience is really important. No matter what it is, we're trying to move forward in our yoga path, we're trying to move forward in our spirituality and our manifesting, patience is really important, all right? We're the ones that kind of put that limit on time. So let that go, reconnect to that part of who you really are and open up as we move through this week and move into letting go or finishing up, right? Reconnecting with our path and opening up to that new moon energy that's going to come forward for us at the end of the week. All right. So let's just take a moment now and bring that energy in and energetically connect and focus right now. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale feel your feet connecting to the earth and breathe that energy up through the body up through the crown into the heavens and exhale breathe it all the way back down deep into the earth inhaling calling in your guides to help with this work as we open up that breath up and down the body vertically breathing opening up that light channel inhaling and exhaling go ahead and dropping a grounding cord feel yourself connecting with the earth and bring the awareness right into that skull right into that third eye center and let's just take a moment 
and imagine pretend visualize a viewing screen and on that viewing screen this is where I want you to imagine visualize finishing that project whatever it may be for you right now see it pretend imagine visualize finishing your project for this week for this month actually see all the many elements coming in that you need to do that removing any obstacles that may get in your way using the Reiki symbols if you know them say a key say a key say a key release it out and empower your work shokurei 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 good and now release that image let it go no attachment sending it out into the universe return to that breath inhale and exhale up and down the body inhale coming into the heart and now let's send that breath out in front of us and exhale bring it all the way send it behind and again inhale opening up that breath and exhale sending it all the way back behind coming back into the center and just feel your feet flat on the earth and now imagine that crystal ball right above your head and begin to see your name in red and as you see your name in red, call back all the many parts that you've scattered around this week. Call back right into the center. Empower your spirit, your energy, your strength, your force. Feel it coming right into the center as you feel your feet grounding on the earth. As you open up to this week, be centered, be focused. Get your work done so that you can release the excess and be empowered for that new moon energy that comes in towards the end of the week. Reconnect with all around. Don't go it alone. Find that infinite potential. Be magical. Bring in the unicorns. Bring in the fireflies. Really move forward with that passion that you desire. But allow. That's what we need to do this week is allow that energy to move forward into completion so we start that new cycle. Take a nice deep inhale. Feel your feet on the floor as you come back. Feel that centered line. Be strong in who you are. Stay true to your spiritual path. Do it. Practice it. Live it. Enjoy the summer. Tomorrow on the Empowered Spirit Show, I actually have a really great guest coming back. She's the author of this Ayurvedic Lifestyle Wisdom book, Arkana Shunna. She's awesome. She was on the Empowered Spirit Show before. She's coming back, and she's going to be talking about summer. She's going to be talking about the vegetables and fruits of our gardens and how they can become a medicine cabinet for us, about spices and remedies. Very excited. This is an awesome book. It's a bestseller on Amazon. Check it out. She'll be with us tomorrow, 12 o'clock on the Empowered Spirit Show. Or catch it on podcast on iTunes. All right, guys, have a great week. Give me a thumbs up. Be sure to share this with somebody else that might feel a little scattered in their lives. This can help. Even five minutes can help realign your energy. Join me in the Empowered Spirit Circle. Just click on the link. Come on in. I've got some great offerings. It's my birthday week. I start a new decade. Praise life. Yes, you're never too old to start something new. Have a great week. Stay true to your path, to your spirit. Namaste. Thank you for joining me.